It's a great, actually warm, finally, afternoon at the Ticket and Transportation Center. And uh, we're going to head into Magic Kingdom for a little bit. Brittany, why don't you tell them what we're doing today? We came for Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom because today is very sadly the last day that it's going to be available. But wait times are really great, so we may not play through the whole Sorcerers and we may ride some rides too, so we'll see. Also, pro tip, it's time to start bringing sunscreen again. I haven't been wearing it because it's been so cool and it's very warm today and I forgot it at home. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. So if you're coming in January, February this time of year, go ahead and bring it with you. It's surprisingly warm because yeah. it's still been really chilly and then today it's like, boom, it's warm. Yeah, so it's like, it's weird. And yesterday, we were actually supposed to come the day before, but it was like really cold and like nasty and just wet. So it's thankful. It was get sick weather. It was get sick weather. But thankfully, because the parks aren't super busy right now, we were able to just change our reservation from yesterday to today. It's gonna be a good day. I'm hungry and we're gonna have a good time. And we're gonna save the Magic Kingdom from evil doers. Evil! Here we are. Here we are! At the Kingdom of Magic. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give you an idea of how not crowded it is. I can do this. <laughs> You're adorable. and it's so sad that it's going away but this is the last day and you get to go around the park and you can open portals and you get to fight villains with these cool cards um, they also gave us a Mickey's not so scary card these were exclusive they would do one each year and so I don't have this one yet so I'm really excited so we each got a pack of cards and if you finish it then you get another pack of cards so I'm not sure we're gonna have enough time today to get through the whole thing but we'll see what we can do What cards did we get this time? All right. A Grumpy, Violet's Force Fields, Aladdin's Lamp, Wally's Trash Crunch, Quasimodo's Bell, Caballero Donald's Pinata, Simba's Roar, Eeyore's Gloomy Cloud, Pocahontas's Colors of the Wind, Thumper's Mighty Thump. So it's not, it's not really busy at the kingdom right now. It's um, kind of dead and the wait times are amazing. So we're gonna really have to determine how quickly we're gonna go through this and what rides we're gonna ride. Yeah. You're at the wrong portal. Oh. Oh. Who designed these anyway? All right, yeah. well, we'll go to the right one. Thank you. 
First round of the Sorcerer of the Magic Kingdom on Main Street, and now we're gonna go get something to eat. I don't think we've decided if we're gonna keep going or not. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get through the whole thing um, because we have something that we have to do tonight, but we'll, we'll see where we go. Yeah, and because it's the last day, everybody is playing it. Yeah. So the w one time that we actually played it to completion, it was like nobody, we didn't have to wait in lines to play. And yeah. Pretty much every time we go to a spot, you have to wait in some kind of a line so and it took us like five hours to get through the whole thing and we just don't have a block of five hours yeah. today so but we're glad that we're here we're glad we at least got to play it a little yeah. bit so but the wait times are low so we may ride some rides in, instead so yeah all right for lunch we went to the starlight race cafe um and i've gotten the chicken sandwich again and then we decided to get a little kids meal with some nuggets or some tenders rather and some fries and we're gonna enjoy this and yeah I don't know if you can see it from here, but over there is the construction on Tron, the Tron coaster. And it looks like it's really moving along. Looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Looks like it's really moving along. All right, we're done with lunch. And now in this very darkened hallway, we're gonna go ride Peter Pan. Yeah, it said 35 minutes. It's not 35 minutes. It's like, I don't know, 15 maybe. We've barely been in line for a couple of minutes. Yeah, and we're moving. In. Yeah, so. Very excited. That's creepy. That's like. That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Onward. I agree. Oh, it's magic. In a moment of just like perfect Disney Day luck, Space Mountain right now is a 20 minute wait. So we're gonna rush over there and ride Space Mountain. I'm so excited. It's my favorite mountain in the park. It's your favorite mountain? Yes. It's a good mountain. But obviously it's going to be pitch dark, so you will not see the footage because there's nothing to see in the dark. All right, now we're headed to Pirates. Arr! <laughs> I'm a pirate! Yo-ho. With my hook. Yo-ho. A is... pirate's life for me! Here we go. <laughs> Who's such a dork? So if you remember earlier, we talked about waiting in line to play Sword for the Magic Kingdom. That's just a crazy, crazy line just to play the game. Yeah. So I'm kind of, it's because it's the last day everybody wants to play and I'm not surprised, but we're going to go ride Pirates instead of waiting in this line. Arg! Arg. All right, it's loud, but we're almost to the front of the line. Maybe not. I might be wrong. We're getting no, there. No, we're close. Oh, we I'm are. I'm so excited. Where are the boats are. I love this ride so much. You can't see it, but I'm excited. Almost there. So close. I get to hear the water. I get to hear it. Oh, 
He's right there. Well, anchor now, you swabbies. What may I offer for these hearty heads? Everyone a neglect. Not less they be laying gold and eggs. Hey there, you bilge rat. Oh, quit your clucking. The gentlemen want the rum. Don't you, boy? Drink up, lads. There's treasure enough for all. I shall take this for you, son, with a stipend to cover my expenses. And change jewels. Yeah, you introduced me to Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. I've been doing it for years. I've been doing it for about six years now. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It. Yeah. We played on a honeymoon and we beat it. Uh, All right. Thank you for showing it to me. All right, we got our confectionery drink. We're gonna we're gonna head out of here. Yeah. So what we're gonna attempt to do right now is we're gonna attempt to take the walkway over to Grand Floridian, the new one. We and ultimately to the TTC because Magic Kingdom also obviously gets really backed up um, when you're trying to leave at night. So there's a walkway to Grand Floridian now and Grand Floridian in the past has connected to Polynesian. I haven't done it in a long time, but it has in the past. So theoretically, you can walk from here to the TTC now. So yes. we're just going to do it and see how long it takes Yes. Um, as another option. Yeah, so it's going to be fun and interesting. We tried to do this before and we couldn't. Yeah. So we're gonna hope that it works this time. I'm gonna do a stop. All right. We're gonna see how long it takes to walk. You ready? We're starting now. Well, let's well, start when we get to like the actual entrance to the walkway. You're, you're smart. <laughs> so this is the walkway. This is the beginning of the walkway. We're still right outside of Magic Kingdom. But it looks really nice. You kind of walk under the monorail track and all the way over there to the Grand Floridian. So it's gonna be a good time. This is really nice. It's like really kind of secluded too. There's like nobody out here. Well, no, I lied. There's people, but <laughs> it's really pretty this time of day. But I think it would also be really nice at night with all this lit up. Yeah, because all of these are lights light up. Just walking and the dulcet tones of the monorail horns behind you. <laughs> lifts up the last time we tried to do this it was up and so the walkway was closed I think it may have to do with yep there are the floats for the electrical parade oh okay so you may have trouble doing this at night if it's around the time of the electrical parade huh so just keep that in mind that's interesting that's good to know so if you want to take this walkway check the time for the electrical water pageant like when we didn't right and then we had to deal with it Back to, to the walk. Here we are, right at the end of the walkway. This white bridge is really nice, so get an idea of how long it took us to walk from Magic Kingdom to Grand Floridian. 
it took us about 11 minutes just Not a little bad. over so now of course from here you still have to walk to wherever your room is if you're one of these on the end it's really nice if your one's on the other end of the resort take a little bit longer but that's way faster than waiting for the monorail or the boat yeah in my opinion yeah so this is the bus stop over there and that leads to the main lobby there's not really i guess a great walkway to cross over there but if you cross over there you can get to the bus stop yeah i don't know where like officially you're supposed to do that but well, unofficially i guess yeah. wherever so it lets you off really close to the quick service if you just stay on that path the quick service Gasparilla Grill is right here, and then you can make your way to the lobby that way, huh. too. Yeah. This is another like great like view of uh, Seven Seas Lagoon and the this Polynesian. Kinda, yeah, you can see the Polynesian over there. So just to kind of give you an idea, we're going to follow this walkway around, and we're going to have to go near the wedding pavilion mm -hmm. and walk around there. So we came from over there, just that walkway around the building. And then we're coming around the wedding pavilion here. And this is the walkway to Polynesian. Yep. And there's a the Polynesian. Cool. And on the other side of Polynesian is the TTC. So it's a little bit of a trek, but it's a fun trek. We have officially made it to the Polynesian. Yes, we have. And uh, still a little bit of a little bit of a trek to go, but not too bad. So over there, way in the yonder, is contemporary. So I don't know about you, but I'm pooped. I'm enjoying the walk. I really want to walk through the sand, but I don't want sand in my shoes. Yeah, I hate sand. It's coarse, and it gets all over. I love sand. When we are here, we've got to get to there. bungalows the really expensive bungalows <laughs> so i will say that the polynesian is very like windy and kind of like a maze so even though we haven't i feel like we've spent the most amount of time at polynesian <laughs> just because it like takes a minute to try to like navigate through here yeah grand florida is kind of like a straight shot it's pretty easy but this is like all windy. So, so I feel like a nice perk of staying in the bungalows would be like if you could just walk right here to the TTC because you can like see it. Yeah. But I think we're gonna have to go around to the front. Walk around a little bit. I think you're right. There's a little bit of a beach area, but I don't think that connects. Which no. I understand because this is not like a walkway, but it would be nice if they would like develop that a little bit, but then you probably have crowd control issues. Yeah. All 
right, well, we finally made it to the TTC. It is like dead over here. Yeah. Um, so, our stopwatch says 41 minutes. But honestly, I'm gonna average it out to about 30 because we stopped and like times. looked at things a few times yeah. and I took a bathroom break and I forgot to stop the thing. So I would say at least 10 minutes of that was us just like looking around at stuff. Um, so it's not a bad walk. I mean, we still have to walk to our car. It's not bad. I mean, you would sometimes spend that amount of time or longer waiting for the monorail. I like this option because I just feel better to be moving yeah. rather than just like standing still waiting, but that's me. Some people would probably prefer to wait. All right, well, we're gonna call it a day there. We had a great quick time at Magic Kingdom. We get to play a little bit of the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. We got some food, we rode a couple rides, then we did the walk back from Magic Kingdom to the TTC. Um, you recommend it. I do, I loved it. It's a really nice relaxing walk, especially right now with all of like the social distancing mm -hmm. or so if you're concerned about being around people, because people don't always follow like where they're supposed to be especially yeah. at night when they're trying to get out so it's just it's nice and i i enjoy walking and i enjoy moving so yeah. i would do that probably every time i'm exhausted <laughs> but i'm also out of shape so anyway we had a great time hope you guys had a great time with us and we'll see you next time we are steak and potatoes and we're living our happily ever after bye